After taking over Peterborough in this League 1 season last video, we sent the best scout across England but managed just to finish in the middle of the table and season number 2 begins. High hopes for Peterborough, wish me luck looking at the team guys. We still need a lot of improvement and need to sign a lot of Youth Academy products and sending a lot of scouts and signings to Youth Academy, he plays youth players into my Youth Academy and then promoting them to the senior team and hoping that we can somehow get into the championship a team looks better now and first game of the season at home against Barnsley a 2-0 victory Schmidt my new Gerrard scoring a late winner to make it 2-0 but it wasn't enough Stevenage it was the team that we had to beat really after beating us last season in an important FA Cup round 5 I think it was but expert Khan hoping to take revenge as the fans are excited for this revenge fight against Stevenage. Stevenage a team who I am going to rebuild in the future. But if you have a team of your own, let me know in the comment section below. But here, early chance for Stevenage. Are they going to make it? Oh, what a save by Garcia. Save from Garcia, I should say, out for a corner. But Stevenage then somehow snuck in a goal and took the lead in the first 18 minutes. Keeper had to do better there. But 1 0 to Stevenage. Peterborough tied, tried pushing for an equalizer and powered his way through. Well, it was power, so be powered actually powered his way through in three minutes after the con goal conceded. Look at that three defenders on him, pushing him left and right. But Roberts almost had different ideas. Keeper had to come out, but no, couldn't save it. Stevenage back in the lead 10 minutes into the after con conceding. Stevenage then tripled their advantage in the stroke of half time, 46 minutes on the clock. Uh, we played 20 seconds over. Everyone complaining it should have been a whistle, but then it got worse. It almost got worse. I thought that was in, but then it wasn't. 3 1 and only half an hour remaining. Davy, top goal scorer previous season, got one back for Peterborough. Is this a fight on or is this something else? Just a consolation. What a goal that is. Peterborough, a team that always fights to the last minute. You should know that, but power 10 minutes later gave. Peterborough chance and Smith was with the goal and 3-3 in League 1. What a game this has been. Six goal thriller. Is this going to be a winner or is there going to be a winner? I should say Schmidt equalising but a 3-3 draw was the scoreline we had to settle for. And it was Exeter City who want to take three points off. Jack Atkinson, current top goal scorer this season. Cox made the first opportunity. Is he going to make it count? Oh, he dinks it. He can miscued his effort well over the bar. Expert can't look at his defence. Where were they? But Power almost scored himself. Peterborough on the attack. Cox was the fastest player on the pitch. Is he going to... Oh, oh, penalty. Poor defending. He never went for the ball, the Peterborough defender. And a goal from Exeter. 1-0 away from home is always a dangerous scoreline. But they still have to defend it for sure. As we can see, Peterborough, a team that always fights to the last minute. But keeper making the best saves in the first half. Samaras and Cox troubling the defence to make it 2-0. Exeter well on form and well on course to get the three points they won. Peterborough then got one back through powers in the second half. Five minutes into the second half I should say. Peterborough is this a fight on a consolation or could this be a fire igniting the fire for the equalizer what a goal that is premier league level goal that is but Burroughs then made it 2-2 snucking it under the goalkeeper and Peterborough 2 Exeter 2 is the scoreline this guy is absolutely a he-man he scores when we need him most but the table is not very in much favour for Expert Khan. 11 games in and still struggling in the bottom half. Ooh, surprise packing. Rotherham and Wickham will be playing next. In fourth in the table, can they stop Peterborough <laughs> equalising late? Or is Power going to be taking the lead for Peterborough? Yes, it is 1-0. Peterborough won. Wickham, Wanderers, nil. And only goal 
Oof, only goal, one goal in those, two goals in the first half, two in the second, 4-0 thumping of Wickham, Mansfield, Luca Atkins, top goal scorer, is he going to make it count, but Hudson on the ball, crosses, no, Davy Strudge, pinball stuff in the middle of the box, Mansfield's somehow got away with it, but Swan had the best chance in the first half, first 10 minutes, dinks it over the keeper and puts it well over the bar, a 1-0 victory, a goal from Hudson was enough. And look at that, 10 games later, Peterborough climb all the way to the 4th of the table. And League 1 is upside down, Birmingham top as well. But Rotherham, a team who we want to beat as they are the dark horse in this title race. League 1 is really getting heated up. They had the first opportunity to cross by Odofin. He's gone past the defender, what a goal! I thought they're not going to score, but they have scored. Rotherham have taken the lead at Peterborough. And expert Khan should be furious with his defence. Where were they when the keeper needed them? But Burrus had different ideas. Is he going to score? Yes, he... Oh, I thought he does. No. That was unbelievable miss. It was harder to miss. But Powers then got the equaliser. Top bin stuff from Powers. He definitely powers his way through all the defence in this league. What a finish, great control, L -l left foot or right foot, no trouble for this man. What a player this guy could be. Could be a call-up for England in the soon. Davy then chained the scoreline. Two into Peterborough, five minutes to half-time. This league title race, well actually we are not in the title race, but race for the playoff promotions to the championship next season is getting better and better. All teams just five points apart, but Peterborough on course to do so they have to keep on winning which they do they beat Rotherham who were third in the table prior to this game but the away game against Chattenham a draw late equaliser are conceded Aston Villa another team that we face in the FA Cup round four we somehow beaten opponents in round three I'm not quite sure I think it was Norwich yes it was Norwich that we beat in round three and Willow Park was the massive ticket that all fans really wanted Unai Emery needs to definitely give his uh, managerial ability across to expert Khan you can he can do so after the game as Willa took the lead through the penalty lay the youth academy player well unexperienced giving the penalty away at Villa Park referee had to point to the spot no question asked look at that and it was Diaby Musa Diaby who gave Villa the lead 1-0 in the seventh minute this tie could really go ugly for Peterborough but if you're thinking that way you are wrong Peterborough got the equaliser Within the first half an hour, 29 minutes on the clock, it was Peterborough who got the goal, but they weren't settling for a draw and a replay moments later. Well, actually, this is the replay. I'm going to show you what happened moment later. My power is scoring left, right, centre throws. Well, moments later, we had another chance. Davy, Hudson, and similar goal. Carbon copy of the first goal. They should know better. World Cup winner goalkeeper. Emi Martinez beaten with a carbon copy goal, not good enough from Willa and not good enough from a Premier League side. Burrows made it 2-1. Then Peterborough really going for the third to seal the victory. 2-1 is a dangerous scoreline to a Premier League side. And power! Oh, I thought that was in. You put your house on him to score from there, but he misses. Villa had to make some changes in order to get the equaliser and force a draw. But Hudson. Has he got the chance to cross one in? He should do. He presses across the face of Golden Power. 3 1. Peterborough. One step in round five of the FA Cup. This could be a cup run for Peterborough. Expert Khan lifted his top goal scorer up in the arms and over the shoulder. What a win this could be. And after beating Villa, it was Mansfield. <laughs> Who is going to trouble us a bit? But we are on course to get the playoffs. But Diaby passes it and power. He's scoring again and again. Who's the current manager of England? Gareth Southgate. Yeah, he should call this guy off from Peterborough. What a striker he is. And he doesn't miss penalty. Unlike Harry Kane in the World Cup when it matters most. Power makes it 1-0 to Peterborough against Mansfield. And in the league, 40 games, only 6 remaining. We are struggling to get into the promotion fights, promotion playoffs. As Dembele... 
got Birmingham one. Oh, I thought that was in. No, it's the penalty. Oh my God! We can't be conceding silly penalties late in this season, as we are fighting for the promotion playoffs. Expert are furious with his defenders today and last weekend. Birmingham then took the lead from the South Korean, banging it in the centre of the goal. What a celebration as well. Oh, he's definitely showing his class with the celebration. 1-0 to Birmingham. Peterborough have to score the equaliser. Score the next goal. It is Barry. Oh, what a goal. He gave keeper the eyes. And it is 1-1. Peterborough have equalised at uh, home. I thought it was St Andrews. The way Birmingham were playing with confidence. But no, it's Peterborough's home stadium, Crown Lane. What a goal by Barry. Moments later, the goal scorer was penalised in the penalty box. And a goal, chance, goal scoring opportunity for Peterborough. This could be its corner. Look at that. Schmidt. Oh, he puts it wide. Oh, we can't be doing this as Birmingham were 2-1 up in the background. I missed the goals. South Korean. Oh, he made it 3-1. And that's three points to Birmingham. The West Midlands team surely winning the three points. And not that he's doing that celebration. I'm not liking it, you know. But it was Sparrow who was on the wrong end of the scoreline. 3-0 in the first 40 minutes. Peterborough had to start scoring a lot of goals. That was... Uh, according to the league table and they were 3-0 up in the first 40 minutes a goal by Peterborough what a goal that is is it power again yes it is he's scoring left and right I'm saying it again but he is really doing it but it's game later we had to win more than three goals and look at the scoreline it's 3-0 in the first half the table is showing that uh, I think it's Bolton. I'm not quite sure what the team is. They have to lose and we have to win by more than three goals. Already three in the first half. This could be four and it is four. Peterborough are well on course to Wembley. Well, actually, they've got two more games to play. I'm not quite sure who is, but the likely team we play, it's Portsmouth. And we have to beat them to get into the Wembley Stadium. 4-0 in the first half and on the hour mark we made it 5-0 buddy easy as you like easy as you like and it is 4-0 5-0 sorry i missed the fourth goal no that was the fourth goal was the penalty but has made it 5-0 on 62 minutes ah oh, what is this happening here and look at the table we just managed to sneak it above barnsley was well, sorry we managed to sneak above barnsley and we play portsmouth home and away games Birmingham and Rotherham promoted to the championship for next season. A 2-2 draw in the first game made it difficult for Peterborough to win at Fratton Park. But a win is what they need to qualify for the finals. A penalty shout it was but no referee pointed to the corner flag. Barry then made it to 3-2 on aggregate and 1-0 and look at the scoreline. Look at the time actually, 84th minute on the clock, Portsmouth definitely not going to score for me here. And uh, they are really pushing into the last 5 minutes of the game, looks like it's no, we made it to the final and we play Oxford United. <clears throat> A team who is not li weren't likely to make it to the playoff at this stage, but they are really trying hard, it would be, it would be a bitter surprise if we were to lose here today, well I actually would want Oxford to be in the championship but not next season could be the season after Henry had the first chance to cross it in and Peterborough had the first chance to score no what a save by the goalkeeper it was power surge Francis back comes Peterborough could this be it? it's a poor clearance by the defender and Burroughs three on two at the moment Hudson oh is he gonna pass it across he does and power makes it one nil Scores into the empty net and Peterborough have made it. Well, they are one, they are 45 minutes away from lifting the all important playoff uh, final trophy. First trophy of the uh, actually, yeah, first trophy of Expert Khan's Peterborough career. And uh, making it 2 0 wouldn't be nice, but uh, here comes Oxford. Chance! Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. Webster should clear and he does. Burroughs, could this be a counter? 
Chance for Hudson. Pass it. Come on. Powers is one on one with the goalkeeper. Passes across and Davy makes it 2 0 on the hour mark. Oh, unbelievable stuff. This does mean we have one hand on the trophy and one foot in the championship for next season. And I'm hoping we get back to back promotion. And promotion it is from League One to Championship. Our final whistle scoreline is 3 0. Peterborough have done the unthinkable. But this trophy is what I really want more than the promotion. I really want to see my team lift trophies and after trophies after trophies. First trophy for Expert Khan and Peterborough are in the championship with the youth academy coming from England. All the players are going to be signed from England. And guys, if you like in the video, do subscribe to my channel. And episode number three is coming up very soon within 48 hours. I intend to do it in 24, but what a win this is. And if you are a Peterborough fan, you definitely have to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a lot of teams, quite busy schedule in terms of playing this game. I've got more teams to do. And if you want me to do your team, write down in the comment area below. And that's it here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.